Welcome to a quest for metal and welcome to another tier list. We're in tier list frenzy mode at the moment because I'm probably at a festival and I needed some content and here we go. So today we are ranking some thrash metal bands. There's a list of bands here. Um, this is I didn't make this list again. I just went on tier list maker and found some random person's tier list and we're going to have some fun and rank them. So we're thrashing it up today. Not often we talk about some thrash bands but today we're gonna get. We're gonna drink some beers. We're gonna thrash around and not do any cry. So yeah, we're going from least favorite to favorite in a tier list setting, like usual. Let me know down below how you would rank them, because I'm gonna put the description, the link in the description down below for you guys to check it out as well and do it with me, because you know we all want a nice little orgy of thrash. That's how we like it. So let's get started with. Did they do it in alphabetical order? They fucking did, didn't they? Geniuses. Anyway, Annihilator. Annihilator. Ah, listen hell. Annihilator's not been one of my favorite bands. I'm gonna get shit straight a fucking way. I do enjoy some of the early stuff, but some of the later stuff just doesn't do it for me. Just really doesn't do it for me. They're a band that I just can't quite break into. Uh, and I've heard the classic stuff, so I don't know. Maybe it's something with me. I still enjoy it, still not bad, it's not going to be in there, because I've seen Annihilator live, and Jeff is an amazing player, but yeah, just doesn't do it for me, and Frax on the other hand, real good, real good live, saw them with John Bush and saw them with Joey Belladonna, killed it both times, every single time I see Anthrax live, they slay, one of the best live thrash bands ever, in fact, I've seen, I've seen all the big four, and Anthrax is the best, live, anyway, Anthrax always puts on a killer show cry for the indians running around with a fucking headpiece on oh so good so good death angel absolutely fantastic thrash metal band underrated as well the guitar playing is just out of this world i need to do a death angel ranking you know i'd much rather listen to death angel than Annihilator. <laughs> just just opinions yeah destruction is an interesting one i'd put it on c tier because i enjoy them but there's a lot of duds there is a lot of duds um is tankard on here yeah tankard's on here tankard's fun as well but it's in that same kind of category you know this kind of german thrash you've got the tectonic four or whatever the fuck it's called creator sodom destruction tankard and i've never been the biggest fan of these two they're still fun though don't hate them but they'll be in c tier for me c tier dri not big into dri that crossover thrash stuff i enjoy some of it but not for me. I do much prefer, like, because I can see Power Trip over here. They would be A. I think they do it so good down well. It's kind of almost death metally with Power Trip. So balls to the walls, insane, furious, fast. Like, you just want to drive into a wall. I've seen, I've seen Power Trip live as well before Riley passed away. Excuse me. Um, before Riley passed away, and they put on one of the best shows I've ever seen. So, Power Trip, A tier. Fantastic band. They would have been even higher, you know, even higher on the list if they um, got to make more albums, which is sad. Exciter, underrated band. Be alongside Anthrax and Death Angel. Really love them. Um, Exodus. Yeah, same kind of tier. Some albums I like more than others. I famously get shit on by saying Bonded by Blood isn't my favourite. And it's not my fucking favourite. You don't, what are you going to do? Cry and piss yourself about it? It's my opinion. It's not my favourite. I like the Rob Duke stuff the best. Exhibition A, B. Uh, Temple of the Dam's pretty goddamn good as well. I like I like the middle stuff. The middle stuff to the late stuff. Um, but I still enjoy all of it. You know, I'm not bashing anything, so I still enjoy all of it. Great band. No, beat it. Flotsam and Jetsam. More on the progressive kind of side of things. I enjoy them as well. Really underrated. Underrated band. B tier. For, talking about underrated, Forbidden, another underrated band that everyone should check out. Oh wow, B tier is getting just packed, isn't it? B tier is getting packed, but yeah, check out Forbidden. Heathen, Heathen. I actually really like Heathen. I might even put Heathen in A. Some of the solos and some of the guitar parts, ooh, speaks to me. Speaks to me. Creator, S tier. Love them. They, I know they had a bit of a weird period in the 90s. Who didn't? But I still love Ender Armour. I think that's a great gothic metal album. That's so fucking good. Renewal, I'm kind of like, eh. Um, but so many, so many classics. 
You know, so many goddamn classics. And even the later stuff like Gods of Violence, I love. I love. Lich King, I think, is pretty cool. Not my favourite, but it's pretty cool. Probably on par with these ones. Mega Dave. Here we go. Mega Dave. Mega Death. S tier. I love all their albums, even the later ones. I love 13. People hate that. Fuck you. I'm, I'm going to say it's great. Um, Dystopia, I still love that. Um, it's too many. The classics, of course. Peace Cells and all that shit. You know, I can't not put Megadeth and S. They're the greatest. Metallica is going to go... Hmm. A or S for Metallica. I'm going to put it in S. The pure reason being... Kill them all. Ride the Lightning. Master of Puppets. And Justice for All. Even the Black Album I still love. That's five classic fucking albums in a row. Oh my god. I still love some songs from Load and Reload. I still love Death Magnetic. That's a great album. S tier. It's Metallica. It's the greatest band in the world. Fuck it. <laughs> Municipal Waste is gonna fuck you up. Yeah. Ooh. They're so fun. I want to put them in A, but really, I like these better. So I'm going to put it into B, but they are fun. Overkill. Fantastic. I think it knocks it over the edge of these bands. I, some people say it's the same shit over and over, but the same shit is good. And I love it. Sepultura. Interesting. Um, they're not really that thrashy. Like, I mean, Beneath the Remains, sure. Schizophrenia. It's more death thrash, but I do love that shit. So top of A, Sepultura. Do I like it more than these? Probably not. But, like, Arise is so good. Slayer is going to be... Mm, Slayer S or A. Fuck. Top of A. Because some of their albums, I'm kind of like, eh. Like, Repentless is okay. Um, what's it called? Um, the one with the priests on the cover. It's okay. They're not quite as good as Megadeth Metallica, I guess. So people will scream at me for that, but I still love them. It's the top of fucking A. I love the more earlier Slayer stuff. Hell awaits. Show No Mercy is a fucking banger. Oh my god. Next, let's move on to Sodom, which, again, top of A. There's not gonna be any more in S. There's not gonna be any more in S. Fuck it. They, this, these are the holy trinity for me. Slayer and Sodom, just fucking amazing same tectonic thrash you got like agent orange oh my god so good but then you have like m16 which i think is even better you got like the more black and thrash stuff then you have the more kind of punky stuff and then it goes crazy again i'm tempted to throw it into s fuck it s <laughs> there's no more s questy instantly throws it into s fuck it sodom and Crea. fucking s tier soulfly never been the biggest fan I don't dislike it. I think it's pretty pretty okay. Um, I will rank them at some point, but it's pretty on par with these bands for me, personally. So Suicidal Tendency is going to go here. Again, the crossover stuff, aside from Power Trip, not my kind of thing. Testament, on the other hand, top of A. One of the greatest, most underrated thrash bands. All their albums are amazing, but no album is, like, special. Did, hear me out on this one. Do you agree? Testaments, every single album is good. There's no bad Testament album. There's no bad Testament album. But there's no, like, Rust in Peace. You know? There's no Agent Orange. There's no Pleasure to Kill or Master of Puppets. Testament don't have the, like, magnum opus. They just have amazing albums all throughout. I can't pick one that's like, oh, that's, like, the one. Some people say practice what you preach, but they're not... Um, no. It's great, but yeah. Testament's just one of those bands that are consistent as fuck. All the albums are great, but they don't have that bombshell of an album, whereas, like, say Metallica has that, like, boom, there's, like, five albums in a row. Then they have some kind of shitty ones, but Testament's just all good. All killer. No filler. Top of A. Almost S. Almost S. Ending on Toxic Holocaust, which I do enjoy quite a bit. It's kind of more on the top, on the municipal waste kind of side of things that I enjoy it, where it's like edgy, fast, furious, in your face. I could put it into A, bottom of A. You know what, I will. Just because it's more like the black and thrash kind of side of stuff, which I like a bit more. So yeah, that is my thrash metal tier list. Um, do you agree? Do you disagree? Scream in the comments. 
Why is Annihilator in C3? Let me know what you think down below. Do your own list as well. And we'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.